Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and that was a bit of a weird introduction. I think it flashed my face first and then did the, the, the thing. Anyhow, we are back playing some uh, Stanley Parable, and this is the Ultra Deluxe version, but I don't want to play the Ultra Deluxe version until I've done all the other uh, the other endings. So This is the story of a gonna man. Skip. So the first one that I realized that we've not been doing All of his co-workers were is gone. we're going what could it to mean? the left of the door. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Now if I go too fast, doesn't he get mad at me? I, I can't remember. But when Stanley go came to, to a set right. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I didn't. I went to the one this on the was right. not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, we've heard this before, but... Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Okay. Stanley simply... But eager to get back to business, <sighs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. Normally I... Would actually let's do it. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Did I? What is this? Okay. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, uh <laughs> from here, it's, um, left. What if I don't go left? What if I go right? Uh-oh. Okay. I guess I'm going left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. Oh no. Is he gonna close the No, me? no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? <laughs> it's clearly Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> now let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely definitely this way. Okay, don't slam it in my face. Oh gosh, what happened? Why are the lights on? They're gonna kill your battery. Okay. Ooh, why did it get all spooky crazy? Oh gosh. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We just we just have to get back to um oh who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about <laughs> rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. <laughs> okay, so that was, that was another ending. Okay, so let's go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh my gosh, it's such a long run. When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with no, all the monitors? No, no, I, I promise. Did you move the story somewhere, or... <coughs> Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Okay. How did I just... I opened up all the doors. Oh, dear. That door didn't exist, did it? Okay, the door did exist. Okay. 
So let's just start from the topmost and we'll go left. Do we know this room? Everyone knows what you did. They're just holding I'll say it. Back. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> I was a bit confused for a second. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Well, uh, let's just see if we can't... Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. I hear sounds. Fallen. Destroyed that guy's work. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Oh, it's a non Euclidean. Euclidean. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace just, our steps. Just so you know, non non Euclidean. Non non Euclidean. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's where like rooms can turn in on themselves and the fourth dimension starts coming into play and you, you lose perception of reality, kind of. Oh my. Uh-oh. That doesn't look... Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. No, it we feels both weird. know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Yes, it was. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Okay. <laughs> the Stanley Parable Adventure. All right, line. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay. Oh, this room hasn't been opened before. Can we can we go any other direction? Is this, is this open? No, that's not open. You see? Open. The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? What okay. The? Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? 
I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Stanley Parable Adventures Episode 5, 7, 3, 2, 1 I'm following the line. Make a wish. It feels like one of those family circus comic strips on Saturday mornings. Oh no. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> oh. My poor nose. I was doing fine whenever the video started, but uh, it feels like my nose is getting more and more clogged as we go on. Cut the music, Ooh. go back, and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Okay. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. Gonna have to remember the fern? Okay. I've got it recorded on video. We're good. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <laughs> So are we trying again? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay, we're gonna start going this direction. Now! Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. There it Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. So, uh, once upon a time, Stanley went into the office and he found a cup of coffee oh, and he sat no, down. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. It feels like the sound's cutting off or something. Do I not have uh, enough bandwidth going on? Bandwidth wouldn't have anything to do with the computer program itself. I wonder if it's the recording software. Oh my goodness, really? I'm just gonna take off like that now? Oh gosh. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Is it? How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. <laughs> the confusion ending. You've been playing the confusion. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. 
The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? <laughs> that's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this thing... wall. Well, <laughs> wall. who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Say Is something. It really? Yeah. No, it can't be. I'd, yeah, I do don't it. want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't That's do it. That's your choice. I won't See? do it. It's all about choice. And the timer stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we did break, we break the, cycle? the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... What? <laughs> do I do the confusion ending again? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so I didn't read what happened with the next part of this confusion ending, but I'm not sure that we actually did it or not. Uh... Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? I can't get around that door. Dang it. Oh, okay, we're leaving. Off we go. I do not like these rides. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Okay. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Okay, oh, well, I this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. I didn't want to go to the Ultra Deluxe content yet. Did I unlock it, or...? Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of if a mesmerizing adventure. If I do get down to adventure. some some place that I'm, like... Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. I don't want the new content yet. I want to play the original. Dang it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. It's as if them. Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Okay. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. What? Okay. Okay. Four, two, three, two, two. Three, 
two, one. <laughs> Bonk. Okay. Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? It feels like a Another fun elevator. house. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Absolutely. If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And then, oh wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Okay. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Okay. Can't see down the sides. Thank you for That's enjoying it? The oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achieve, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated <laughs> and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Okay, that was actually a creepy ending. Like, that, that got creepier than I thought it was going to be. Okay... Well, now this isn't. This isn't what I was trying to do at all. Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Okay. Go down? Okay. I don't even know if this is like part of the new game or part of the old game. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Okay. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. The memory zone. There's nothing I can do, is there? You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, <laughs> it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Memories, sweet memories. Ah, oh, 2013 was, was released. 2013. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of the Stanley Parable. <laughs> so sentimental. Good times. And the original. Ugh. A trip down the memory lane. Smile because it happened. Smile because it happened. Oh. 
Somebody put that in my comments the other day. Like, don't be sad that you, you ended Lumber Tycoon 2. Be uh, happy that it happened. Huh. I wonder if that's a scan. Like, better yet, how did you scan it? Because I thought there was anti-counterfeit stuff on uh, scanners. Go outside. Don't play for five years. That is one of the uh, things you can get. If you don't play it for five years, you can get the achievement. The next one, I guess, is 10 years or 11 years. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever, ever created. created. That's yeah, how it. grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. Really? It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Down or up? Down or up? Down. Memory zone maintenance. Can we break into it? Is there any way to break in? Fire. On Star Trek, they used to have these pipes that said GNDN, which stood for Goes Nowhere, Does Nothing. Whenever I program uh, certain things, whenever I'm putting a button in, like a submit button or something like that, but I don't have it programmed yet, I'll write that on its description. GNDN, and my boss understands what it means. Oh, the button's just there for aesthetic at the moment. The end Here's end another end. moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone, to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Source SDK. Oh. By the way, I've been told I need to go and learn Source. Oh. Can we, can we get through there? Come on. How do I get through there? Can I step up on anything? The Serious Room 2013. Can I go back? Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Oh, the maintenance door is open now. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Oh. What's this? What's down here? Oh, that's annoying. That needs to be changed. Oh no! God no! Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh. Not recommended 2.9 hours on record. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. 
Alright, we can't go off track, so it's still... It's still a path to somewhere. What's over there? Are these all Steam reviews? Like, just Conics boxes upon Conics boxes of... Steam reviews? That's awesome. Well made. I have, I have to say, like, I'm doing this mostly for reviews and for like reviewing okay, let's see what this one new says. games and stuff. While well, the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy, Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, Don't read the comments. Oh, goodness. Never read the comments. It's actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure, like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Not at all. I think it's a, a wonderful game. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything what? for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Okay. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence... Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy rumination. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's... <laughs> okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, is he isn't still it? Talking? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button. Stanley! <laughs> Stanley! <laughs> Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Oh, no. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? In a week, Me the talking, lights went out? And you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as all? Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. 
<laughs> Is there anything? The narrator's gone. Did he die? Ooh, that fan's about to die. Alright. Hit it again. Is that a... Fire alarm? Oh, that's annoying. That is super annoying. Okay, okay. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Enter. Doesn't feel like there's any way out. The clock's falling off the wall. There's a drip. Of some kind. That fan stopped. That tree is long dead and the clock's falling. The end is never the end, 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 is never the end. It's looping. Oh yeah, that's super dripping over there now. Come on. Skippy skip. It's almost busted through. The building will fall down by the time we get to the future. <laughs> oh. Starting to see. And there's no door that we came through. Okay. Do it again. Oh, years. Millennia have, have passed. Okay. Push it again. Oh, it's all dead and gone now. What was that? <clears throat> okay, creepy. Super creepy. Push it again. Can I push it again? No, that's it. Can we go up? Can I go up? <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna look around. What am, what am I supposed to do? Just wander off into the desert now? Is that it? Did I get the ending? <laughs> okay. I think that's good. Thank you everyone for watching this uh, episode of The Stanley Parable with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things you're supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Love you for that. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.